Hey guys, how are you all doing? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Ngozi. I am a Nigerian YouTuber, but I'm based in California with my family and California is in America. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And to all my new subscribers, I want to welcome you to Ziki's World. Thank you so much for joining me. All of you, I really appreciate you. So if you're new here, you have not subscribed, I want you to subscribe to be a part of my family. So guys, in this my channel, you get to see a lot of things you get to see me cook which i love to do all the time you get to see me vlog about my lifestyle my family and also you get to see me cleaning i love to cleaning i'm gonna give you a motivational cleaning so that you will stand up wherever you are and start cleaning your whole house and also the part i love most about this is that i get to share with you guys how i have been on this ketogenic lifestyle <laughs> Sorry guys, my children are here. So I get to show you guys how I have been on this my journey of ketogenic lifestyle. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a recipe that is dear to my heart. So this recipe was inspired by Testy City. Hi, Testy City. So I watched how she did a Nigerian sausage roll and I love the way she took her time to explain the steps of how to achieve that. I told her that I'm going to make this, but it's going to be with almond flour because I don't usually uh, eat regular whole flour, but I use almond flour or coconut flour to do any of my bakings. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to share with you how to make Nigerian sausage roll using almond flour. Now, almond flour is not that your regular flour that you can use to bake. It will give you that, um, you know, result. But we are going to be mixing some certain things to make that almond flour manageable. <laughs> so if you want to know how I make this Nigerian sausage roll using almond flour, keep watching, do not go anywhere. And if you're struggling to go back to um, you know, low carb lifestyle or lose weight, I have a lot of videos on how you can substitute all the food that we eat in Nigeria. If you live in abroad, even though you live in Nigeria, there are some ways you can just substitute some of the food that are regular in your kitchen and you can be able to live a lifestyle it's not even a diet i don't call it diet i call it a lifestyle because when you call it a diet one day you are going to be tired of that so i call it a lifestyle which i know that i've been living that kind of lifestyle for a very long time and i am seeing a lot of benefit and i am enjoying it so guys if you want to know how i make this nigerian sausage roll using almond flour keep watching do not go anywhere okay let's start making it So guys, for this recipe, I'll be using, these are all the ingredients I'll be using. I have here my nutmeg, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. I have here the spices I'll be using to mix the sausage. I have my mozzarella cheese. I have my cream cheese. I have here two eggs. I have uh, stevia. I'll be using stevia instead of uh, sugar. You can go ahead and use sugar because this is low carb. So I have butter. I have milk. I have two cups of almond flour and three sausage so for this i am using turkey sausage so let's start making this so guys we are now going to melt our mozzarella cheese and the cream cheese i'm going to be melting both of them to use it to bind our flour So go ahead and uh, we are going to continue melting this until all of them are completely dissolved, okay? So guys, this is my cheese. I am done melting both of them, the mozzarella and the cream cheese. Just on a very low heat, keep stirring until they are completely melt. So it is now what I want. So I'm going to set it aside and mix my almond flour. This is my two cups of almond flour. Then after that, I will be adding a... Uh, this is nutmeg, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. I forgot to show you guys this. I'll be adding a little bit of uh, cinnamon, just a pinch of uh, cinnamon. I'll be using my stevia. You can go ahead and use truvia or any sweetener of your choice because this is low carb. So I am using two sachets of uh, stevia. Mix everything together. So now we are done mixing. We are going to be adding this to melted cheese. I'm going to be pouring in the melted cheese inside the dry ingredient because that is how we are going to bind this. 
So let's mix everything together. Okay, from here, I'm going to be using my hand. So make sure that you wash your hand and then begin to combine the almond flour and the cheese. So I'm done mixing my almond flour. I'll be adding one egg. So guys, from here, we are going to mix the egg with the almond flour until they are well combined. I'm done mixing this. This is exactly what I have. I'm going to use my parchment paper to spread it apart before I add my sausage. So I'll be using turkey sausage roll for this recipe. So in here I have my smoked paprika, I have uh, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, curry and black pepper. So add everything. Then we're going to mix it together. So I am done mixing this, I'm going to turn it aside and start rolling our dough. So guys, this is the dough that we have. I'm going to divide it into two guys. When you're working with almond flour, sometimes it doesn't um, bind together as the regular flour. Now I'm using two parchment paper to you know, spread the dough apart because we have to make sure that the dough is well flattened before we start adding our sausage. So I'm using my hand to, you know, just uh, push it down. You can use your rolling pin, but I'm just using my hand to make sure that it is well flattened. So yes, this is exactly what I'm doing now. Guys, I'm just having fun doing this. Just use a hand. If you have rolling pin, go ahead and use that. Keep spreading it apart. In between, I have to cut out the edges that are not well straightened so yeah i'm using my hand to just flatten the the door so as you can see while doing this i noticed that a lot of almond flour were just coming out i have to take it out and continue flattening the door until i get the length that i want to work with so go ahead and keep flattening the dough because this is salmon flour if it is your whole flour just use a rolling pin and just everything will just flatten but this one it needs parchment paper to be able to get exactly what we want so after about three minutes this is what we have at least i've gotten what i want to work with as you can see the edges are not the same so i'm going to cut it off and then so that we'll have um a well-defined edges to help us roll this uh, sausage i just cut both sides i ignore the other side because this is exactly where i'll be working with so yeah i just take it out and then let's start making this so now i'm going to be rubbing egg at the edges of the um dough i already flattened if you want, you can end up, you know, rubbing on the whole uh, uh, dough because we want to use this to bind and also hold the sausage when we add it to the dough. Now I'm adding my uh, sausage inside the dough on top of the dough so that we can be able to roll it. It's very, very easy to, you know, put together. It doesn't take time. The work there is just to flatten the dough. So now I'm using my fork to make sure that I bring everything inside just one inches, you know, you know, one inches away from the dough so that it doesn't fall off from the dough. So now, guys, look at what the trick in making this. You cannot easily roll this. You need this parchment paper to be able to roll your dough. Because this parchment paper is helping us to do the job. So you need parchment paper to do this. 
I'm loving it because it is well um, flattened and um, yeah, it's easier for me to work with. So keep rolling it until you are done with the door. So make sure that you secure the edges so that it doesn't fall apart. But still yet, yeah, some of it are still falling apart. <laughs> but that's okay. This is almond flour. Like I told you guys, I make sure that I work with this uh, almond flour to be able to get what I want. So yeah, what I did was just to cut it into four. If you want, you can cut it into three, but I want it to... You know this size which is okay for me if i eat one and drink my cocoa tea i am okay i am good to go so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and do the second one i'm laying it inside my baking pan as you can see over there i also lay another parchment paper inside the baking pan now we are done with the first one you are going to see all of them so i ended up getting um just 10 uh, sausage roll yeah so now i'm going to rub the egg on top of it you know to get that brown color once we are done uh, baking so just rub it on top of the dough the sausage roll and then before then my oven is already preheated to 360 degrees guys look at the leftover look at the leftover i just you know I formed the shape just you know to make a mini cookie just one mini cookie for myself <laughs> or for the kids so just put it in there and uh, just use your fork to pierce through the the sausage by now my oven is already preheated so I'm going to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes until I get that brown color that I wanted for myself so put it in the oven and let it bake for 25 to 30 minutes on 350 degree Fahrenheit. Guys, after 30 minutes, our sausage roll is ready, guys. As you can see, the color, I enjoy this, guys. As you can see over there, some sausage roll is missing. I am the one responsible for that because I couldn't wait for this. I started eating immediately. Guys, did you see how inside is? It's super easy, so crunchy, and so chewy. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want you to try this recipe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and be a part of my family. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for the love. Bye.